Hey everyone, Jackie Tomlin here, and today we are here to do your full moon reading. This is also known as the Wolf Moon. The Wolf Moon is the first full moon of the new year, and this one is bringing in new opportunities, but it's also bringing in that full moon bajiggity, that full moon crazy. Guys may have been feeling that energy, that shift in energy today. So we're going to start with some general messages, get into a quick tarot reading, and see what this new moon phase, uh, full moon phase, will mean for you. Focus is what you need to know in this full moon era. Um, like I said, if you feel the shift in energy, I'm not surprised. This one is packing a pretty powerful punch, to be honest with you. Y'all, am I looking crooked? It looks like my, my thing is crooked here. Maybe not. Okay. Alrighty. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Don't forget, uh, go and check out the link to yesterday's podcast. Those were your messages from Spirit uh, running up through the end of January. And, of course, tomorrow I will be over here to do your weekend reading. This week has gone by super fast. If you're coming into the collective with a general reading, by all means, put it out there to Spirit because in an odd sort of way, they seem to answer those questions for you. And if you're seeking a personal reading... All right, Miss Jen. If you're seeking a personal reading, then contact me on my website. It's JackieTalman.com. Been around for 18 years. Got lots of eyes over there. So let's get into these full moon energies today. How many of y'all are feeling the effects of the full moon? I'm just kind of curious. Let's see. Yep, I am too. Hugs to you too, sweetheart. All righty. Let's see what we have. What are the messages for today? We're going to start with grace. God providing His grace. It is a little bit uh, of an uncertain time, so some of you may feel feeling a little scattered. Uh, some of you sticking close to home, and that's okay. Some of you may be doing some deja vu during this full moon, okay? That's right, going through the awakening. Um, and deja vu, you know, where you think you've been there or you've done that or you've had that conversation. Okay, a lot of you could be doing some deja vu during the full moon era. Knowledge is power, folks. And you're gaining acceptance to some things. You're also maintaining a very playful energy, which I like seeing. Uh, remaining choose happy. Remember, I will tell y'all all the time. Happy as a choice. Be sure to choose happy, okay? Expansion. Expanding your horizon. Look, magic. The magic of the full moon. How appropriate, right? And we have growth and success. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm going to say when I say new opportunities, notice that it's plural under this full moon arrow. All right, let's get into these messages here. What do we have? Be warned of someone shady in your circle. Someone throwing shade, someone with some lies, uh, deceit, things of that, that nature. Someone looks at you as a warrior. They feel like you're indestructible. And you yourself, you're in denial about something. Okay? And we have someone coming in to, because you're a good listener. They're coming in to talk to you and they're coming to make it a heartfelt promise. You know, a very heartfelt promise. Not yet, Jen. Not yet. <laughs> Uh, someone's also coming in to pronounce their undying love for you, in case y'all did not know this. Okay, and what we have is letting go. Letting go of what no longer serves a purpose. And I've talked about this all month. It's time to let go of past energy so new energy can come in. Okay, making you for the new. Uh, you are going to receive a message from out the blue from someone you're totally not expecting. And we have... You guys are daydreaming and manifesting. I love this energy for you. Spirit asking you to slow down. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you. And we have, there it is, the full moon. That's what we're talking about, the full moon energy. 
some of you, when I say you're scattered, you may be feeling a little bit out of sorts. You might be struggling to find where you belong. What are you doing? Where are you supposed to be? What are you supposed to be doing? These are common feelings and emotions uh, when we enter a strong, powerful full moon. Okay? Just so you know. All right, gang. Let's get into your reading today. Hello, how are you? Enchanted, I think that's Rainbow. Hi there, how are you? Glad to see y'all come in. Y'all are such a good group over here. You really are. I enjoy you tremendously. Your energy is just wonderful. Shine down. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. And thank you for your gift, Shine Down. I appreciate it. Alrighty. Getting into the messages for today. Like I said, don't forget, tomorrow is the um Hello from Virginia, Phoenix, Arizona. How are you? Okay, we're gonna start with we have the two of swords and we have the four of wands and we have the hermit card so what we're talking about here you guys have got decisions to make that you've been putting off and look at there there's the moon okay hello from texas yes all states are standing tall with texas right now how are you all righty and we have the king of wands you could be dealing with a an aries energy you don't have to be but this is you taking authority this is you putting your foot down this is you saying you know um i've had enough and i've done a b and c and now we're gonna do things my way we're gonna do x y and z like that energy we've got the hermit here now that hermit and bajiggity go hand in hand and it does say that you're very scattered and you feel like that cat on a hot tin roof okay so you feel like you know you've, you're anxious you're excited you're overwhelmed you're all of this all at one time okay and this is letting you know that's okay because bottom line trust that lantern trust that hermit it says you guys are on the right path we do have a tower moment here. Tower moment. Tower moment says this is your anger. This is your temper. It's nothing to be feared. But let me tell you how this goes. It comes in. Hello, Missouri. It comes in and it says sudden changes sudden quick changes this is your anger this is your temper this is something that made you just lash out and vent right here on that full moon imagine that elevates that level of pestivity <laughs> you know and then it immediately results in sudden changes now the cool thing about this is i've never ever seen a tower card that leads to something worse Hello, how are you? It will always lead you to something better. Always. Okay? And I, I don't know. I just feel that sometimes towers and the full moon just kind of go hand in hand. The clearing of the old, the welcoming of the new, and the sudden changes. Hello, La Luna. Center the reading. Ten of Pentacles. Guys, that's your abundance. Okay, so not only is this the highest financial card in the deck, but this is an abundance in general. Your health, wealth, family, and friends. It's you having it all. Okay? And, well, the Magician. It's the highest tarot card in the deck. This trumps your entire reading. This says you absolutely 200% get everything you want and desire. It's right there in front of you. Right in front of you. So, a tower card moment that leads you to getting everything you want. How beautiful is that? And we have two of pentacles. Some of you guys juggling financially. Some of you are just well out of your financial comfort zone. Okay? Maybe you're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. You're just not feeling it financially. That two of pentacles is generally an indication it says it's going to be brief and passing. This is generally an indication that there will be new money coming in. Full moon energy. Anything is possible. Four of Cups throwing out an unexpected offer of love. Now I want to throw this out to you. 
unexpected. Really stressing and emphasizing unexpected. Okay. And we have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is talking about you're doing some financial planning. Maybe you're working on a new budget for 2024. You're wondering how things are going to wrap up for 2024. It's going to be a good financial year. All right. We got someone else traveling. And we have the Two of Swords. I'm sorry, the Three of Wands. Three of Wands. You guys are losing patience. Well, you're talking about the Queen here that has no patience, so I totally get it. You're waiting for your ship to come in. The ship needs to come now, and I get that. Okay? That's what you're losing patience on. You need the change of events to occur now, and I totally get it. Totally get it. Let's go further with these messages. Starting with talking about these decisions that you've been putting off for too long. Virgo energy here. Jen, you hearing me? I know you are. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, and you could be dealing with someone that is currently not speaking to you. Is about get ready to get ready. Oh, God, I am totally tongue-tied. This person that you are currently not speaking to is getting ready to contact you. And again, there's a patience problem. Um, this could be your unexpected offer for love. Remember, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates for you. On this Aries energy and you taking authority, working and gaining Something, something is coming in to restore your balance. Something. Hey, Dutch. Something's going to restore your balance. Um, this could be the signing of a document. It could be a large lease or purchase. And some things, okay, so here's going to be your challenge with that tower. Keeping some things to yourself. And what I'm going to tell you is to keep your mouth shut. Thoughts, opinions, and ideas. Zip it. <laughs> okay. I will have to take a look, my dear. On the Hermit, there's the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. May or may not resonate. Knight of Pentacles, I'm telling you. The money's rushing in, but it's not rushing too quick. Because that's the slowest moving night in the deck. But also, money is money. When you need money, you need it now. You need it now. Who's this? T. Brooks is listening? Very good. So, you know, it's it's coming. Your answers are be your prayers are going to be answers, but we're not on our time. We're on God's time and it's slow in coming, but it is coming. That's the biggest thing. It is coming. This Scorpio energy. Now, here's the thing. You've got some trust issues going on. Third party situation. Someone pay, placed you in a third party. Hey, Elizabeth. Someone placed you in a third party. So, this has generated some trust issues in you. Uh, but it's overall, it's asking you to open your heart, to open your heart to give love, open your heart to receive love. Don't take the past negativity into the future with you. Hello, Illinois. All right. Now, let's get into this tower. Override. Override the tower with the magician. I'm telling you, whatever hell is about to break loose, whatever angers you, whatever your temper is, it's about to lead to something 200% better. Trust where you're being led. The power of the moon. It's going to happen for you. Hey, Kelly. Thank you, my dear. I um, appreciate it. Thank you. Trust it. Three of Cups. We got a celebration coming up. An outing. Three and or more people get together. I'm thinking dinner out. Dinner out. Just kind of whimsical. Not playing. Just kind of a whimsical thing. Let's go out and have dinner. I like it. On your Ten of Pentacles comes the Queen of Pentacles. You yourself, overall, feel that you're in a good place. Things are going well for you. 
Your new beginning is now. Right now, right here, right now. Embrace it. Because now we're talking about wish fulfillment. Total happiness. Total contentment. And if you remember on our Monday reading, I said this week is about closure because after the closure comes the new beginnings and here you are coming into that big full moon energy on the border and on the cusp of a new beginning. On that first magician, it's because it's a death card energy. One door closes, one door opens. What I just said. Who are you? I might be psychic, right? What I just said. Because all this energy is, is, is swirling around, that one has, one door is closed, another door is open, you may feel very emotional. It kicked you out. Um, so, yeah. And if you're emotional, you know what? Emote. Emote. Let it fly. Ace of Cups is also telling you this is also a new beginning in matters of the heart and matters of love. Am I hitting it? That works. New beginning in matters of the heart, matters of love. Now, for some of you, this could be in matters of the heart. For some of you, this love of family and love of friends, but it is a new beginning. Yes, full moon emotions running high. Totally agree. Eight of Wands. Happiness, contentment, love, arrows flying around. I'll take it. How about y'all? And again, with the Three of Pentacles, y'all are really, really, really dwelling on the finances here. Look, I know y'all have heard me say this before. I'm going to say it to you again. Where thoughts go, energy flows. Don't spend all your time worrying about finances. What you're stressing about today won't matter this time next year. Really won't. And again, it's letting you know. Two of Pentacles on top of the Two of Pentacles. I cannot make that up. You are really dwelling on the finances. Four of Swords. You are in the calm before the storm. This tells you to get the rest that you need while you can because you are heading into a big, big, busy era. I think we're all headed to something better. Nine of Pentacles. Financial independence. That's where you're headed. So I'm telling you, don't waste your energy stressing over this. Okay? Somehow, someway, it's all going to work out. Let me say this to my singles. Some of you that are single are deciding to remain single for right now. And you need to know there's nothing wrong with that. Four of Cups coming in with that unexpected offer of love. Oh, look at there. The sun. The sun shines brightly in all that you do. You'll be excited about this. You also need to know that you're surrounded by a healing energy. Physically and emotionally. Because I do see some of you. <coughs> some of you want to get excited about this offer of love. But at the same time, it's a struggle because you've got some past trust issues. Oh, congratulations on the self-employed. Page of Wands, Messenger card. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. There it is. Counting your blessings. Spiritual blessing as well as the financial blessing. Y'all trust me when I say your prayers have been heard and are about to be answered. And... On this financial planning, I have something to do with your family. Look, you need to recognize and embrace you can't take care of everybody. Don't try to. The other thing is, it's telling you to avoid some financial drama. I mean, some family drama. And it may have to do with finances. Avoid it. We have the lovers. There's going to be some intensity and love during this full moon. So y'all know. Thank you, my dear. And we have the King of Wands again. It's you. It's making it about you. It's you taking authority. Thank you, Cole. You taking authority. You putting your foot down. I'm very adamant that you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, on to this little patience problem we have going on. 
unexpected offer in love. I'm telling you, unexpected is like, boom, in your face. You did not see this coming at all. Nine of Wands. That whole bajiggity thing, I'm telling you. The scattered energy. The, the full moon crazies is what I call it. Let it fly. Let it fly. It's your permission. Let it fly. Knight of Swords. What's rushing into you? It's a Knight of Cups. Okay, so when I'm talking to my singles out there and regarding to an offer of love, there's more than one offer. More than one offer coming in. You've got offers as in plural. All righty. Let's see what Kipper has for you today. Just seeing. Good, good news here. I mean, all good news. I mean, very seldom do I see magic in a reading or that your blessings are coming, that you're counting your blessings because your prayers are being answered. The uncertainty and the bajiggity and the full moon crazies. Well, it's just that. It's the full moon crazies. It's the full moon crazies. The power of the wolf moon. Who is that? Mac, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I will be on YouTube later. I certainly will. About an hour or so. We have, there's going to be some travel in that too far distant future. Look at there. Unexpected income. I don't know about y'all. I welcome it. Um, this, one of these offers is coming in. Some of you got a secret admirer that may be coming forward and let you know that you are in their thoughts. And maybe, maybe this might be a friend that is thinking about you as more than a friend and just now wants to talk about that. Okay. Thank you, Mac. I appreciate you. And we have, ugh, work is work. Some of you working for the weekend. Some of you got a little overtime coming in. But you know what? It does say hard work is paying off, so don't stress about it. You could be dealing with an official type person. You could be dealing with someone at the military uh, uniform. Just want to throw that out there. And we have, there's a message of concern that you're going to have to take care of. God, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody's got car problems. I hope it's not me, knock on wood. But there's something there. So just, I mean, it's not a major expense or anything. It's just enough to be annoying. You know how that is? And we have, oh, some of y'all got a date night coming up. Looking forward to seeing that weekend read tomorrow, right? Date night coming up. I also found that to be unexpected. The worst thing you can do right now. Get in your head. Do not sit around overthinking things. Do not start overthinking things. When you do, you pull your energy from up here to down here. No overthinking, no overanalyzing. There is a warning here on your health. Now, y'all know we are in flu allergy, or what I generally call the ick season. Okay, so be mindful of that. There's an older woman coming in to talk to you. Uh, this woman is either seeking you out for advice or she's coming in to give you, I'm going to say, I wanted advice. So there's that. But there is something that's coming in. These blessings that coming are in are just showing me here over and over. You are so going to supersede your expectations. Everything coming in is going to supersede your expectations. All righty, Miss Jen, you have a good afternoon. And again, you're on the right path. And that's such huge message there just to know that you're on the right path. All righty, let's close you out with a couple of affirmations. Like I said, I'll be over here tomorrow with that uh, weekend read to see how the weekend's going to go. You are so welcome. Thank you all for joining me. I enjoy your energy, your vibes, your feedback, your... Your likes, your follows, your shares, your comments, everything y'all do for me, I appreciate you. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. There's a menu of options over there, and I will be available over the weekend as well. All right, so remember, happy, choose it. It is a choice. And it says, pick any card, that's your answer. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Pick any card, that's your answer. We're going to go with my glitter deck here. And it says, you're making excuses and fooling yourself. Ouch. What y'all making excuses for? What y'all making excuses for? Telling you you're under new opportunities of a wolf moon. No time for the excuses. 
Alrighty, what do we have? We have, it says, I will not compare myself to others. I will not compare myself to others. It's a pretty strong statement. Okay. I got it again. Pull another card from the deck. Let's pull one of these. What does this say? Pay attention to your dreams. I absolutely support that. Uh, especially when we've got um, a message here. This spirit is telling you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you. Now you're specifically being told to pay attention to your dreams. I am becoming a better person every day. Amen to that. And I am a miracle. This is what I'm going to leave y'all guys with today. You are a miracle. Miracles. Miracles happen every day, all day, to a lot of people. Expect one. It's the full moon. It's the wolf moon. Take the time. You know, enjoy the power of the moon. Little restless sleep tonight. Perhaps a loss of sleep. Can't help that, but just enjoy it and know it's brief and passing. You guys have a super fantastic day. Don't forget, check out the link from yesterday for the podcast that will give you your messages by spirits from now to the end of the month. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow for your weekend read. Love y'all.